Hello everyone, this is Poplux on Words. So yeah, today we are going to see how to make this simple title using Video Copilot's Element 3D. If you want that plugin, uh, you can get the download link from this video's description. I'll make sure to add in that. So yeah, uh, let's start by creating a new composition. Mm, I'm going to rename it to text. And look at these settings which I've kept. Uh, yes, let the video's duration be 10 seconds yeah so now i'm going to create a new text so uh, right click new and then text so yes uh, let me type something like okay i'm going to center align it and let me increase the size maybe font yes and just align it to the center of the page so uh, go to window click this align tab so that you can align it to the center of the page yes yeah now what we have to do is right click new solid okay let's make it as extrude mm, let the color be white maybe yes no let it be black since the text color is white okay now drag the extrude layer below the text layer so that the text will be visible so uh, now let's create some background for this uh, total image so I'm going to click this rectangle tool and go to fill options and click the highlighted fill you can change uh, change the option to radial gradient and then ok now you can choose a color I'm going to keep it like some violet ok and now drag it so that the whole page is covered now go and click this uh, selection tool so that the cursor will uh, appear like this now if you pull it now drag this uh, shape layer below the text layer so that uh, the text and everything will be visible now uh, again uh, drag this extrude layer above all other layers now go to uh, effect okay now click this extrude layer go to effect video copilot element yes now that it has come uh, you go to custom layers custom text and mask path layer in path layer assign it to horcrux artworks the text layer okay yes now go to scene setup yeah once the scene setup uh, window is open you just go and click extrude what happens is the text that we have assigned in the custom layers is going to appear as an extruded model see yes you can see the extrusion if you want to uh, change the extrude thickness you can uh, go and drop down this select this be well here you will get these options to change the extrude line you can see it changes for me let it be uh, I'll keep it to 0 0.80 yes now to change the uh, appearance of this model you can go to presets open bevel physical you can choose any kind you want 
I'm going to choose this uh, gold stripes. Just click and drag it to the window. Yeah, so it has applied here. You can see the texture. This is gold stripes. Let's go to environment. Basic. Let's set. Now oh, let's go to V1 environment. And I'm going to set it to studio warm. Okay. So yes. So this is how it's going to look. After doing all this, you can just click OK. After clicking OK, make sure you're going to hide this text layer so that only the extruded model will be visible. So yes. Now uh, let's create a camera. Right click, new camera and uh, select this uh, 35 mm camera from this preset and look at the settings which is available ok now click this X2 tab go to group 1 particle look multi object enable multi object ok now uh, you can see this rotation if you just increase this rotation angle you can see that the text letters will be rotated see now uh, you, we can use this for uh, animating you know let's see how to animate it uh, make sure the time indicator is at the beginning of the uh, duration now let's go and click this keyframe now increase this rotation value I'm going to keep it to like 130 yes now I'm going to move it to 5 second and then make it to 0 ok now let's see what happens you can see that it slowly comes to its original position Okay, within that 5 second uh, duration so yes likewise if we go to uh, scatter you can see that all the letters get scattered away so uh, this can also be used for animation okay likewise uh, bring the time indicator to the beginning of the duration select this uh, let it be at 2 go to the 5 second click make it to 0 again make it to 0 ok so yes all these scattered letters gets rotated and then goes to its original position within 5 seconds go to this camera layer and press P this is going to bring us uh, uh, reveal us the position option of this camera ok now make sure you're going to click this uh, keyframe now you can adjust this uh, Z position of the camera let's bring it closer ok this is good now go to 5 second and zoom it ok this is good so another thing is let's rotate a little bit so go to unified camera tool and then uh, at the beginning of the duration just click uh, left click and uh, rotate Yes. Now you can see this. 